Watching YouTube is a fantastic way to fill your free time. It can be educational, entertaining, and you get to help out small creators like us here at TopSpec. And if you're anything like me, sometimes I like to watch YouTube on my PC from another area in my room, essentially using my PC as a TV. But after a while, this can kind of become a real pain because if you want to like change the video or adjust the volume, you have to get up and go up to your PC to change the volume, or maybe plug in a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard and change it that way. But that way can also be a little bit frustrating since the icons are so small. So around a year ago, YouTube actually had a really good workaround for this. And you could essentially go to youtube.com slash TV, and it would basically put the TV YouTube UI on your PC. And you'd be able to connect your phone to it and control the playback and the volume and it was really nice. And around a year ago, YouTube actually ended up removing this feature for whatever reason. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different workarounds to get this feature back, one using a third-party Google Chrome add-on and the other one just straight up using Chrome by itself. More on that after the intro. Welcome to Top Spec. We're your weekly one-stop shop for tech content, so if that sounds like your thing, feel free to join us by pressing that red subscribe button down below. So let's go ahead and jump into the first method to get this feature back without using any third-party apps. This method definitely is a little bit more lengthy and a little bit more complicated, but if you'd prefer to not use any external apps to get this feature back, I would recommend this one to you. If you'd like to see the solution that does use a third-party app and is a little bit more quick to set up, go ahead and skip to the timestamp on your screen right now. Okay, so getting into the tutorial section of this method, we're going to go ahead and start from a complete blank Chrome tab. Um, obviously, I'm browsing as a guest just to get rid of all of my personal preferences and whatnot in Chrome, just to make it seem like it's a fresh install and that kind of thing. So. I'm going to go ahead and right click and then press inspect. And then from here, I'm going to click on this tablet looking icon, the toggle device toolbar button. I'm going to click on that and then go up to this responsive text and then press edit. From here, I'm going to go ahead and press add custom device and we'll just name it something like smart TV and then the device pixel ratio we're not going to touch and we're just going to put in your monitor dimensions so say you have a 1080p monitor you can just do 1920 by 1080 that's 1080p resolution and then this is the part that we will have to go to another site for this user agent string box so pulled up right here is the site that we can get it from i have this linked in the description below so Sometimes some of these don't work and you may have to try some of the other ones as of recently this first one listed this Apple TV One has been working for me So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it into the user agent string dialog box So I'm going to paste that in and then change this drop down from mobile to desktop And then from here we can go ahead and press add Now nothing has changed, but we can change that by going up to responsive and essentially just changing the user agent from this responsive one to the smart TV one that we just created. So pressing on this, we're going to choose smart TV and notice now there's a change. So the way that we can test to make sure that this works is we're going to go to youtube.com slash TV and look at that. We've got the YouTube homepage, what looks to be the landing page for a YouTube TV UI. So this one worked. Um, if for some reason you did not get this screen and you got a redirecting screen, if it says redirecting you to the YouTube homepage in five seconds, that kind of thing, try one of the other user agent strings on this website. S like I said, sometimes they don't work and sometimes some of the other ones work and some of them don't. So, so that's a problem that you run into. It's a pretty simple fix. So yeah, that's it for this built-in Chrome version. So although the method built into Chrome is a decent workaround, you are essentially telling Chrome the entire time that you're using it that you're using a smart TV UI like a Fire Stick or a Samsung Smart TV or something along those lines. So with this third party add-on literally called Custom User Agent String, you're able to instruct Chrome to change user agents anytime that you go to a specific website. So essentially when I have it all set up, I can go to youtube.com slash TV and the add-on will recognize the URL and instantly instruct Chrome to switch to the the smart TV UI. Okay, so for this method, I actually ended up signing into one of my 
older Chrome accounts, you actually have to have an account for this one because you have to add an add-on. So in order to get to it, I'm gonna go to the web store and I'm going to search for custom user agent string. Press enter. I'm gonna go to this one and then I'm gonna press add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, so now it looks like the extension has been added. So it took us to the website, don't necessarily need to be here. Um, we're gonna press on the puzzle piece and then click on the extension and then click on open options page. So what we're looking for is this section right here. The one that says entered a desired URL and enter a custom user agent string or select from select one from the above list. Essentially what we're gonna do here is for the desired URL, we're gonna type in youtube.com slash TV. And then for this section, we're going to go back to this website from the previous method and copy any one of these. Obviously, like I said before, sometimes some of them don't work. So you can just try and switch them out if you run into an issue. So for this, I'm going to put this in. It auto fills one. I would replace it with one of these on the list. And then once that's all good, we're going to press on the plus. So one thing that I noticed, um, one problem that I ran into with this is that whenever I would add this, it would remove the desired URL and I'll just replace it with, the, with this asterisk. So I'm gonna type it back in, .com slash TV, and hopefully that works. So if you run into that problem and it's redirecting you constantly, make sure that that didn't disappear. So let's see if it works. We're gonna go to youtube.com slash TV. And here we are. Looks like it worked perfectly fine. Um, like I said before, if you get to a redirecting screen, try one of the other ones from this list because sometimes some of them work and some of them don't. So yeah, that's the second method. So I hope either one of these solutions worked for you. I can't really wrap my head around why YouTube even ended up removing this feature, but at least we're able to get some workarounds because I found this feature really helpful and it's nice to have it back. And to give credit where credit is due, I actually found this solution originally online in an article by Crystal Crowder. So if you run into any other issues that aren't addressed in this video, go ahead and click the link down below to that article and she goes much more in depth on how this exactly works. I just thought it'd be a good idea to put this technique into video form and combine the built-in Chrome method with the third-party version into one video to make it more cohesive and so that you can have multiple options. Also, before this video ends, I do want to say thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers. We rolled over that mark, I think, about a month ago at this point, so we really appreciate all the support. Anyways, that's about it. I'm Connor, and this is Top Spec. We'll see you next week.